Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have discussed problems on page 40 and 41. There was a homework. Let us check the answer now. If the length of a rectangle is increased by 5 meters and the breadth decreased by 3 meters, the area would decrease by 5 square meters. If the length is increased by 3 meters and breadth increased by 2 meters, the area would increase by 50 square meters. What are the length and breadth? Let us take the length as x and breadth as y. Then what is the area of the rectangle? We know area is length into breadth, therefore the area is x into y or xy. When the length is increased by 5 meters, what is the new length x plus 5? When the breadth is decreased by 3 meters, what is the new breadth? That is y minus 3. Then what is the area? The new length is x plus 5. New breadth is y minus 3. Therefore, the new area is x plus 5 into y minus 3. Given that when the length is increased by 5 meters and breadth is decreased by 3 meters, the area would decrease by 5 square meters. This is the original area. When length is increased by 5 meters and breadth is decreased by 3 meters, it is decreased by 5 square meters. That means new area is xy minus 5. This is the new area. xy minus 5 is also the new area. That means they are same. So we can say x plus 5 into y minus 3 equal to xy minus 5. Let us multiply. x into y is xy. x into minus 3 is minus 3x. 5 into y is 5y. 5 into minus 3 is minus 15. So we can write xy minus 3x plus 5y minus 15 equal to xy minus 5 xy is on both sides so we can cancel it when we take xy on the other side it becomes minus xy and xy minus xy becomes zero so we can cancel xy and let us take minus 15 on the other side so we can write minus 3x plus 5y equal to minus 5 plus 15 minus 5 plus 15 is 10 so we can write the equation as minus 3x plus 5y equal to 10. Let us consider it as the first equation. When the length is increased by 3 meters, what is the new length? x plus 3. When the breadth is increased by 2 meters, what is the new breadth? y plus 2. Then what is the new area? Area is length into breadth. Therefore, the new area is x plus 3 into y plus 2. Given that when length is increased by 3 meters and breadth is increased by 2 meters, the area would increase by 50 square meters. Original area is xy. It is increased by 50 means the new area is xy plus 50. This is the new area when length is increased by 3 meters and breadth is increased by 2 meters. Now we got that the new area is xy plus 50. Therefore, they are equal. That is x plus 3 into y plus 2 equal to xy plus 50. Let us multiply now. x into y is xy. x into 2 is 2x. 3 into y is 3y. 3 into 2 is 6. And on the other side xy plus 50. 50. Again, you can see xy on both sides, cancelling and taking 6 on the other side, we get 2x plus 3y equal to 50 minus 6 or 2x plus 3y equal to 44. Let us take it as the second equation. 
This is our first equation. The first term is minus 3x. Here the first term is 2x. So let us multiply the first equation by this 2. Then we get minus 3x into 2 is minus 6x. 5y into 2 is 10y. 10 into 2 is 20. So we get minus 6x plus 10y equal to 20. Let us take it as the third equation. Now multiply the second equation by this 3. So we get 2x into 3x is 6x. 3y into 3y is 9y. 44 into 3 is 132. So we get 6x plus 9y equal to 132. Let us take it as the fourth equation. Now look at the first terms of third and fourth equations. Minus 6x and 6x. So we can add the two equations together. Then minus 6x plus 6x is 0. 10y plus 9y is 19y. 132 plus 20 is 152. So we get 19y equal to 152. Therefore y equal to 152 by 19 and that is equal to 8. So we got the value of y as 8. We can put this value in any of the four equations to get the value of x. Let me put y equal to 8 in the first equation. Then we get minus 3x plus 5 into 8 equal to 10. 5 into 8 is 40. So we can write it as minus 3x plus 40 equal to 10. Take 10 on this side and minus 3x on the other side. So we get 40 minus 10 equal to 3x. 40 minus 10 is 30. So we can say 3x equal to 30 or x equal to 30 by 3. That is x equal to 10. x equal to 10 means length is 10 meters. y equal to 8 means breadth is 8 meters. Today let us discuss the next section some other equations. First problem. Of two squares, the sides of the larger are 5 centimeters longer than those of the smaller. And the area of the larger is 55 square centimeters more. What is the length of the sides of each? Let us take the side of the larger square as x and the side of the smaller square as y. Given that the sides of the larger square is 5 centimeters more than the sides of the smaller square. That is x is 5 centimeter more than y. Therefore x minus y equal to 5. Let us take it as the first equation. The side of the large square is x. Then what is the area of the large square? It is x square. In the same way, side of the small square is y, therefore the area of the small square is y square. Given that, area of the larger square is 55 square centimeters more than the area of the smaller square. That is, x square is 55 more than y square. Therefore, x square minus y square equal to 55. In 8th standard, we have learned that x square minus y square equal to x plus y into x minus y. Therefore, we can write this as x plus y into x minus y equal to 55. x minus y equal to 5. Therefore, we can replace x minus y by 5. Then we can write x plus y into 5 equal to 55. Therefore, x plus y equal to 55 by 5 or x plus y equal to 11. Let us consider it as the second equation. Now look at the two equations x minus y equal to 5, x plus y equal to 11. First terms are same. So if we subtract, we get an equation in y only. Second terms are minus y and plus y. So, if we add it together, we get an equation in x alone. So, let us add the two equations together. x plus x is 2x, minus y plus y is 0, 5 plus 11 is 16. Therefore, we get 2x equal to 16. Then, x equal to 16 by 2 or 8. Now, these were our equations. To get the value of y, we can put x equal to 8 in any one of these equations or we can subtract one equation from the other 
to get the value of y. Here let me put x equal to 8 in equation 2. Then we get 8 plus y equal to 11. Taking 8 on the other side we get y equal to 11 minus 8 or y equal to 3. x equal to 8 means length of the larger square is 8 centimeter. y equal to 3 means length of the small square is 3 centimeters. Next problem. The perimeter of a rectangle is 10 meters and its area is 5 1 by 4 square meters. What are the lengths of its sides? Let the length of the rectangle be x meters and let the breadth be y meters. Given that the perimeter is 10 meters, that is 2 into length plus breadth equal to 10 or 2 into x plus y equal to 10. Therefore, x plus y equal to 10 by 2 or 5. Let us take it as the first equation. Now, given that area is 5 1 by 4 square meters, area of a rectangle is length into breadth. Therefore, the area is x into y or xy. 5 into 4 is 20. 20 plus 1 is 21. Therefore, 5 1 by 4 equal to 21 by 4. So, we can write this as xy equal to 21 by 4. We have got the equation x plus y equal to 5. Now, let us find x minus y using these details. We have got x plus y equal to 5 and xy equal to 21 by 4. In 8th standard, we have learned that x minus y all square equal to x plus y all square minus 4xy. x plus y is 5. So, this can be written as 5 square minus 4 into 21 by 4. 4 and 4 get cancelled and we can write 5 square minus 21 or 25 minus 21 and that is equal to 4. That means x minus y all square equal to 4. Therefore, x minus y equal to root of 4 or 2. Let us take it as the second equation. Now, look at the two equations x plus y equal to 5 and x minus y equal to 2. Let us add it together. x plus x is 2x, y plus minus y is 0, 5 plus 2 is 7. So, we get 2x equal to 7. Therefore, x equal to 7 by 2 or 3 and half. Now, let us subtract second equation from the first equation. So, we get x minus x is 0, y minus minus y is 2y, 5 minus 2 is 3, 2y equal to 3. Therefore, y equal to 3 by 2 or 1 and half. x equal to 3 and half means length of the rectangle is 3 and half meters. y equal to 1 and half means breadth of the rectangle is one and a half meters. Today, we have discussed some different types of problems. Now, there is a homework. A 10 meter long rope is to be cut into two pieces and a square is to be made using each. The difference in the areas enclosed must be 1, 1 by 4 square meter. How should it be cut? The next video, we shall discuss the remaining problems. Till then, bye.